Hello everyone, and today we will show you a truly practical video. But first, a little backstory. Every video includes some practical part, and we film based on requests to our technical support. And you wouldn't believe how many times we've been asked for a screwdriver to take apart a MacBook. And I'll tell you right away, there is no single screwdriver that can disassemble an entire MacBook. Because in different parts, different revisions, different models, different screws. In one of our previous videos, we showed you this set from Jackie Me, and we emphasized that with its help, you can disassemble absolutely any device. And today, we will not only demonstrate this set to you, but also show you how to replace the thermal paste in a 2015 MacBook Pro. So here is our workspace, some tools and the laptop itself. For the replacement, we will need the thermal paste itself, cotton pads, sticks, alcohol for cleaning, and the Jacumi set for disassembling devices. To disassemble our laptop, we need to unscrew the screws and remove the cover. For this, we need a Pentalobe 1.5 bit. We unscrew the screws and arrange them in the order in which we remove them. To make it easier to remove the cover, we use plastic spudgers and picks. After a characteristic click, the cover can be easily removed by hand. We separate the damping rubber of the fans and the cooling system and prepare to remove it. But before this, we must disconnect the battery to prevent any short circuits. This can be done using a plastic spudger. Once the battery is disconnected, we can work safely. To unscrew the screws of the cooling system, a T4 bit is required. Loosen the tightly screwed screws by hand and in a crisscross pattern to avoid misalignment and consequently chipping of the processor or graphics card crystals. Next, you can remove the clamps of the cooling system using the screwdriver in the first mode. And be sure to unscrew one screw hidden behind the silicone plug on the right and one on the left of the copper tube. After that, you can remove the heatsink and clean it from the dry thermal paste. When the heatsink is clean, you need to remove the thermal paste from the processor and graphics card crystals. It's convenient to do this using cotton swabs soaked in alcohol. Additionally, if there is dust in the cooling fans, they also need to be removed and cleaned. There should be no problems with the right fan. But to remove the left one, you need to disconnect the Bluetooth Wi-Fi module antennas and remove the module itself, because the fan connector is hidden underneath it. When the fan is clean, put it back in place and don't forget about the wireless module. Wipe the processor and graphics card crystals with alcohol once more and apply thermal paste. We will be using this Ukrainian made paste, TS4. Apply a small amount and carefully spread it over the entire surface of the crystal using a plastic spatula from the Jacomi set.
After applying the thermal paste, install the cooling system. Connect the battery, place the cooling system dampers back in position, and check if our MacBook will turn on. As we can see, the laptop turns on, boots up, and even the Apple logo lights up. So, we can put the cover back in place. Screw in the screws in the same order as they were unscrewed, because the two top and middle screws are shorter than the others. And here, the electric screwdriver comes in handy again, as it significantly speeds up the work. So friends, as you can see, this set is really worth having in your arsenal. Because besides MacBooks, you can also assemble Windows laptops, Windows computers, MacBooks of other revisions, iPhones, and a bunch of other tech with it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and write in the comments what else you would like to see demonstrated. Take care and see you next time.